What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you follow my channel or you follow me, you should know that I'm a big, big fan of The Walking Dead. I always talked about what kind of character I would be like, but let's let Playbuzz tell me what character I would be like. Or Rachel Adeen, I guess. This was posted in 2014, so obviously it's gonna be older characters. But I wanna see if I answer these questions, which ones I would be like. Now, I don't know when this is going up. I don't know if I'm uploading this before the, the Pixar, probably not. I'm gonna upload this afterwards, but let's just see which character I'm, I'm like. Your walking dead personality says everything about you. Get ready to truly discover your inner zombie. All right, okay, first things first. When there's a zombie attack, what will you do first? Get away as quick as you can, stock up on the essentials, call your family, or learn to shoot. Now this might be a long video, because y'all know I like to explain. I know I'm dark around the eyes, man. I don't know what's going on with me, but um, first things first. I would like to learn to shoot, but come on now. Where the fuck am I gonna learn to shoot? At the heat of a moment, fuck learning how to shoot. I'm going to shoot <laughs> regardless. If I miss, I miss. But I know one thing, I'm gonna aim for the head, and if a bullet goes to the head, then <laughs> I'm saved. Call my family, nah. Because honestly, what will that do? Because even if you don't call them, if you try to go get them, something could happen. So this is really, really a hard decision. I would really say, you know, stock up on the essentials. I mean, get away as quick as you can. Where are you gonna go? Where it's not zombies at? No, it's gonna take over eventually. Nobody's smart enough to, to eliminate the problem now because they're afraid that it's not going to, you know, do anything. They're scared to kill. There's just a little sickness going on and it'll blow over soon, so. I don't wanna say stock up on the essentials, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I'm probably gonna be like a looter's gold mine, but I wanna make sure I'm good and content where I am and then worry about venturing out afterwards. So I guess I'm gonna stock up on the essentials. Ooh, this is gonna be difficult now that I think about it. Okay, you can only take one possession. What would you choose? Photo album, a weapon, or a vehicle. Now, a vehicle would be the smartest. A vehicle or a weapon would be the smartest. Honestly, I'm not taking a photo album. I got my memory for that. Do I want to get away or do I want to shoot? I feel like a vehicle would be the best bet because you can always stay on the move, but then you got to stop for gas and stuff. Or would you take a weapon and have to fight it all the time? I guess I'm, I'm taking a weapon, man. If I really think about it, at least I'll be able to protect myself. I mean, if your car breaks down, what the fuck are you going to do then? I mean, obviously, this isn't really realistic because I take both. Why wouldn't you be able to take both? When the attack happens, will you try to find your family? Uh, it depends on the situation. Well, yeah, they have supplies and money. What is money going to... Come on now. They have, wow. Yes or nope, never. I'm not going to say nope, never. Because I know there's some of my family members that would be you know, helpful. But I'm gonna say it depends on the situation. It always depends on the situation. And I don't, I wouldn't make that damn face. Okay, a woman tries to join your, tru uh, your group when she has a scratch on her hand. What do you do? Kill her is for the best. Offer help, but keep her away from your family. Clean the wound and welcome her to the group. Tie her up and leave. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. Look, it all boils down to the situation. It always boils down to the situation, at least for me. And I'm gonna ask her simply, how did you get this scratch? I'm not gonna say, are you bitten? Because then she's probably gonna lie. She's probably gonna feel like, oh man, he's gonna kill me if I'm bitten. I'm not gonna tell him if I'm bitten. I'm gonna ask her, I'm gonna ask, how did you get, uh, what happened? If she says something that's believable, I might offer help and try to keep her away from my family. If she says something that sounds like total bullshit, I'm not gonna kill her. No, it depends on how far, far along we are. If we're like savages, I'm killing her, simple. But if we're not savages, I'ma just like, if, if we're gonna be on the move, I'ma let her live. If we're planning on staying here, killing her, instant. Because she can always come back and be like, that guy didn't help me. And if there's nothing wrong with her, then she might come back and fuck me up or fuck up my living situation. But it all depends. If she says she got bit, kill her. If she said, if she lied, it seems like she lying, kill her. If, what? That's all if we're on the move. If we're on the move, then we're not gonna kill her. We're just gonna go. But if we're, if, if we're staying there, we're gonna kill her. And yeah, so if we're just talking flat out, she has a scratch on her hand. I'm not gonna welcome her to the group. If she got a scratch on her hand, I gotta know. I'm gonna just say kill her for the best in case it is a bad thing. So kill her is for the best. Oh yeah, this is old. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil nothing, but look at that. Come on now. This is old. Look at that. I'm not gonna circle nobody with the mouse, but look at that. Come on now. In a group, you are the one who offers support 
the one who gathers and organizes supplies, the one who protects the group. Ooh. I would do all of these. I would do all of these, to be honest. But if I had one sole purpose and I got to choose, I'm going to be the one who gathers and organizes supplies. Because I feel like I would be able to, you know, handle that. But then again, that means I would be out on runs. And I would be... I would be devastated if I were to come home and some shit happen. And I don't want to be the one that protects the group because then I might turn into a savage if I keep, you know, fucking niggas up. But I don't want to be the one who offers support. The fuck I look like. I guess I'm going a, I'm to a be on runs and shit. <laughs> okay, when the walkers come for you, what do you do? Shoot it, run away, hide from it. No, get rid of it. When faced with the decision, what do you do? Make a decision and stick to it? Cave into pressure and freak out? Fuck no. Put off making a decision as long as possible. That's These two are how you get killed. That That's how you get killed. No, make a decision and stick to it. What makes you angry? People that are dangerous and irresponsible, people who disobey your orders, or people who disagree with you. I'm not gonna say disagreement. I'm, I kinda wanna say people who disobey my orders, but I don't wanna seem like a control freak. And people that are dangerous, and easily, easily. Why did I even think about that? Okay, what do you do when someone new arrives? Let them in, but keep an eye on them. Say nothing. You dislike voicing your opinion. That's that's the, that's how you get killed. Okay, I won't let them join, but welcome them. See, this is ooh. See, this is hard because like um, my answer is not up here. I would fill them out first. I don't want to say let them in, but keep an eye on them, because anything can pop off. I don't want to say this is the this is the worst one. Dude, that's worse than welcoming them just right here say nothing because we're gonna need people you gonna have to keep an eye on them man we ain't gonna just welcome them in who would say that like who would say i'm gonna welcome them in without even thinking about looking at like that's that's common sense like that shouldn't even be an answer uh zombie attack a zombie attack is an opportunity to start over <laughs> it's fucked up or survive as long as possible um i don't really i don't like these answers um survive as long as possible i don't like those answers okay who am i who am i i'm daryl <laughs> hell no no ain't no fucking way i should take this over you're a loner who likes to take their time getting to know someone your natural instincts make you a vital part of the group stay with us okay so y'all want me i wouldn't really say yeah did honestly now that I think about it, this does a little bit describe me. But I want a little bit more than just that, you know. I feel like it ain't describing me enough. You feel me? But, 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 but Daryl was a real nigga though. So I'm gonna have to say, uh, I, okay, I, I, I'll agree. I'll agree. Well, there you have it, y'all. I'm Daryl. I guess. I, I would, I would, I would more see myself as like a, um, nah, cause everybody that I was gonna say is dead. <laughs> so I don't wanna say that. But Daryl, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it but um if you want to take this test for yourself the link would definitely be in the description if you're on your phone you can still take it and if you're on a pc you can take it too or if you're on a mac if you're on a computer you can take it too um i want to know who y'all are man if y'all think that this does describe me or if you took the test yourself and you got somebody let me know who you got in the comments if you decide to leave me a comment um and yeah